Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Zenny and I am a big fan of Mamamoo and I have been for a long time. I have my cat right here with me. It is Sunday, she wants to play, but I want to film. So we'll play later. A little bit later. <laughs> but it was actually today that Wasa has released her new OST for this new K-drama called The King Eternal Monarch. Uh, I know that the first episode was supposed to be released on the 17th, but I still haven't watched it because I was watching a bunch of other K-dramas Kingdom with the new second season that I have still to finish season one um, as well as when the camellia blooms and so a lot but I will still be watching that drama so it got me all the much more excited to watch that drama knowing that Wasa was doing an OSC for it and actually she did write the chorus by the looks of what was written in the description of that release and so this song is called Orbit and because it is Sunday I have nothing to do today and I do work during the week right now I don't have anything to do I will be doing a little reaction watching the song for the first time with you guys and just telling you what I think. Disclaimer, you might hear a lot of background noise and that is because my neighbors are outside playing around, the kids have been playing outside as well and I have my cats going completely mad. So let's <laughs> just try and move on and try to make this video happen and let's check out what Hwasa has prepared for us for this new release. This week honestly has been one of the best in terms of like new releases and for Mamamoo fans, for Moo Moos out there it has been a pretty great with Ween's birthday, with the covers, the dance performance that she did, as well as Sola with all of the different comeback pictures that she has been releasing, all the different teasers, and now Hwasa with this new OST. It is so freaking cool. I've just been enjoying quite a lot all of those different new releases. When it comes to OSTs, it tends to be ballads, so I'm hoping and thinking that perhaps it might be the same thing for this one and I don't know if you will top the OSTs for Hotel de Luna because definitely that one K-drama had the best OST that I have listened to for quite a while so we'll see. I really wanted to do shorter intros but I guess it's not possible <laughs> so without further ado let's check it out. Wow, it starts with a chorus, there's no subs. Wow. What it is really cool about this song is that even though it is an OST and normally it tends to be like more ballads and stuff like that, it still has Hwasa's DNA in it. So you definitely have the deeper basses and even the, the beat, it goes much stronger than what you might expect from an OST and that I freaking love so far. Wow. Wow. I love this pre chorus. Oh. So much power in this chorus. Wow. It's really cool to see Huasa going out of her way for those different high notes. I know that she is known for her very sultry, deeper vocals, and seeing her here with 
all of this emotion and those high notes and pushing it all out like it adds so much more emotion and even more dramatic elements to the song and adds to the emotion that you might feel while listening to it. It is so freaking great. Wow. I don't know what the drama is all about, so it's a lot to take in. I love the pre-chorus! By the way, I love this actress. She did perform doing uh, Goblin as well. So great. I love how the background guitars are so amplified. <gasps> I love that. Hmm. This is so interesting. So this song is definitely a kick, but like no matter what you say about this, I don't know how it will play in the drama because we know with all of the different OSTs, you might listen to the songs, the drama and see how they play in what parts of the storyline they will put those songs in. But the entire thing is so emotional, so powerful. The pre-chorus and the chorus are definitely my favorite aspects of this song, showing her deeper tone all throughout the verses, but then going all out for the chorus and the pre-chorus is so freaking nice. Um, love the different elements that they add in the background, in the, the diff... Where my cat is doing? <laughs> she wanted to go on top of my closet. Are you done? Hmm. Two hours later. Let's go back to what I was saying, if I managed to find what I was talking about somehow. So, chorus, pre-chorus are the key elements of this song. Actually, if I am correct, I don't know, Hwasa did write the chorus because it was like chorus, Hwasa. So did she write it? Did she compose it? Did she only write the lyrics of it? We don't know. If you know, tell me in the comments down below. But I'll definitely, the my favorite moments of the entire track then for the the rest i do oh. then for the rest i do really like the different um elements that they added as layers for the backing track we have different vocal lines from hwasa then the guitar being so amplified because we have electric guitar and the notes are like some notes like picking notes but they are really amplified so they take a lot of space in the song as well as the acoustic guitar it sounds so freaking nice and it's so well done i'm i love this song and so far i have high hopes for the entire ost from this uh, drama that i will be watching because it has Lee Min Ho, it has i forgot her name but she was in goblin and i love that drama it has a, a mixture of historical drama romantic drama and uh, a little bit of like, because it was like the police and everything, so perhaps it will have a little bit of mystery, like a thriller. I don't know yet, but it looks very promising. And knowing that Hwasa did a song for this drama gives me all the much more reason to go and check it out. Okay, so I did check out the lyrics for this song, the English version, and it is a love song, promising to be with your loved one promising to be with your loved one forever and staying by their side and just encouraging them and it's very loving and you are promising your loved one that you will stay by their side even when night comes and through 
thick and thin, basically. I do really like the lyrics. They are more like the typical type of lyrics that you might expect from a K-drama OST, but nonetheless, in the execution, it's really, really well done. So guys, now it's your turn. Tell me in the comments down below, what did you think about this new song? I really, really want to know your guys' opinions down below. Let's exchange, let's talk about it. And I will be continuing checking out new songs right after this one. So if you have any other song recommendations that you want me to check out, because you did say in my community tag poll that you wanted more to see reactions and reviews together. So here is one and I will be continuing to do so more and more often so yeah guys thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe i really wanted to reach 3000 subscribers this year or even more than that but just grow a little bit our community and uh, i know that my past videos have been doing so well and i do really enjoy to make this video so sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating that they don't work as well as i would wish for there you go. My cat does agree with me. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope I'll see you in my next one. Yes, I am playing with my cat at the same time. <laughs> Bye.